Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about why you don't get sore after every workout. If you're interested, make sure to stay tuned. Alright, let's get into it. Alright guys, before we start the video, you guys know the drill. Uh, subscribe to the channel and, and check out my other videos if you're interested in fitness related content. And so today, for today's video, we're going to be talking about why soreness doesn't always indicate a good workout or why you don't feel it after every workout. So first we need to talk about what is soreness. So there's two types of soreness that I've, I've seen. The first part is DOMS, which is Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. This is the soreness that hits you a day after the, the workout or a couple of days after the workout. And it's very hard hitting, you really feel it, you feel very stiff. And there's also another type of soreness, which is Acute Muscle Soreness. Acute Muscle Soreness is something you feel like a few hours after the gym. Like you went, say I went to the gym this morning, I would feel it in the afternoon so it comes very quickly it's, it's not like a day after or two days after so the reason why you might not be getting sore anymore is due to your body being able to adapt to the training workouts and the training regimens that you're on so if your body is not getting sore anymore it's usually an indicator that your body is adapting and getting used to this intensity getting used to the certain stress thresholds that you're putting your body through so it's an indicator that your body is adapting and getting stronger to the to the training routine that you're adhering to so that can also mean that you may need to bump it up a little bit not too much but start increasing volume weight intensity one of those just to see if you can go a little bit higher apply that progressive overload over time that's the main reason why you aren't seeing or why you're not being sore after workouts. For example, sometimes I will be sore after workouts, but it's because I increased one of those three ways of progressing. It's either intensity, volume, or the weight. Those are, those are some of the indicators that will start to make you sore again. But just because you aren't getting sore doesn't mean you're not gonna, be, you're not gonna get any gains. That's, that's a myth and there's no correlation between um, muscle muscle growth and DOMS delayed on mu onset muscle soreness. There hasn't been any research that really can correlate that uh, DOMS is a good indicator of muscle soreness. Tracking your weight, tracking your lifts, actually physically seeing your body progressing, those are good indicators of if your muscle, if your workouts are actually doing anything. Don't really rely on DOMS as a way to track your progress because once you start getting used to working out it's going to it's going to take more and more for you to be sore and fatigued it, ha it happens to me several times but it's not like every day every day i'm working out and i'm getting sore it's not, it doesn't happen all the time it's going to be here and there you're going to be getting sore you may be sore you may have a lot a lot more soreness on one day and you're not as sore on in, in another day that's just that's just how it is your body is uh, is adhering to different stimuli and different stress. There's also other reasons for why you not might not be getting sore again. I know of two other reasons. You're getting you're having a good diet. Your body is refueling is uh, using all that energy that you're getting through your balanced diet and all of your protein and all of those ma macros and calories that you're consuming is helping you to have more a better performance in the gym and also correlates to you repairing when you're at home. And this is when you're at home, also a better sleep, Get, having a better sleep pattern will also help you be less sore because your body is repairing and having sample, ample time to repair your muscles. So the next time you wake up, you're not gonna be as sore. So those are some of the reasons why you may not be getting sore anymore. Usually the indicator that you might need to step it up a little bit or you're just treating your body right. So in order to prevent soreness or DOMS, you may need to do some dynamic stretching, you know. Do a little bit of stretching, have a warm up, do cardio for about like five minutes. You know, just have something that will get your muscles, pump the blood to your muscles before you do any compound lifts or exercises or a strict training routine. You need to be warming the muscles up and for beginners it's going to be 
you're going to get a lot more sore than a, somebody that's been doing workouts for a while. So you're going to need to have more time to warm up. You're going to need to be like 10 to 15 minutes opposed, as opposed to somebody who's been working out for a while and they only do like a 10 or five minute work, uh, warm up. Soreness doesn't equal a good workout, okay? That's, that's a common myth that's uh, passed around, especially because of the quote, no pain, no gain. Even if you're not physically tired or fatigued, doesn't mean you didn't do a good workout and you're, that your muscles are not gonna grow from that. Soreness can just be from factors that that your body is not used to. So like having, doing new workouts are one of the most common factors that you'll be sore. Like if I go on a new training workout that that have a lot of exercises that I've never really done before, I'm going to be sore the next day because the body's like, what the heck is going on? So those are some of the reasons why, why you might not be getting sore as you start to work out and actually make it a habit. So don't, don't really freak out that you're not getting sore. It's just a natural process of starting to get workout into a habit. And if you guys have any comments or anything you guys wanna add, or a, a video suggestion, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like and go check out my other videos if you guys haven't already. All right, peace. Go.